right. Well, I was going to actually do a video on gold mine finance, but I didn't actually realize, because I actually finally read the tweet, that they're actually not going to go live until two days from now. So I think I would probably do the video on it when it actually launches, which doesn't make sense because you miss on the Genesis pool. So I don't know. I'll, I'll decide what I'll want to do either. No, well, no. Tomorrow i got to deal with some bank bullshit, don't I? Because what day is tomorrow? Okay, well, it's the 17th. Yeah, so, I don't know. The thing is, it's a brand new project, Goldmine Finance, so it could technically be a rug. So that's another thing I want to take into consideration. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. <clears throat> So anyway, this is uh, Ripe Finance. Uh, it's a very nice, sleek-looking website. They finally just had their correction, and not surprisingly, there is no chart. <sighs> Which means I gotta manually deal with this. So how do I... Okay, so the first thing I need to do is buy this clown. Then I get the contract address. Dex screener phantom. Okay. But, uh, and then here we go. Alright, so that's uh, PFTM. Now we need uh, Pi shares? Rip A finance shares? I don't even know. Okay, now I grab the contract here. Bit, uh, Phantom, blah, blah. So this is how you can manually get the chart. What's nice about Dex Screener is they apparently actually do everything automatically. So as soon as you launch your token, you get a chart for free. It's actually really freaking nice. <clears throat> ah, great, now I'm starting to get a frog in my throat. Alright, so anyway, I was told about this project before, and I chose not to invest in it because, as you can see, this is also pegged one-to-one to -one the Phantom. The problem was the PFTM peg was so freaking high at the time. It was like 10, 9, 10, or 11. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to hold back. And not surprisingly, I was right. You know, this thing like just went... Oh, this is not the right thing. Let's do... No, that's too long. Yeah. Like, it literally just crashes, right? It just went, like... It was as high as, like, $28, right? And then it caught blam right? You know, blam! And it's still early more. I don't want to scare the neighbors. Right? And this thing just crashes. Just look at this. Right? And remember, what? how do Tomb Forks... How do Tomb Forks operate? The base token must always be close to the peg. If it's way above peg, it's going to crash. That's just... How, that's how it's designed, right? So why would you buy in at the top, all right? Oh yeah, because you're trying to chase that high eight daily APR. And if you're gonna do that, like I just said in the Scarface video, which should be being should be done processing within ten minutes. YouTube's actually kind of slow right now, all right? You should be pulling profits so that when it does inevitably crash, note the word I use, inevitably, which means guaranteed to happen, all right? You know, you'll have, like, a lot less dildos shoved up your ass, like, giving you pain, all right? And, th and then, you know, you won't be bitching in the Discord or the Twitter or my YouTube comments, and then I get annoyed, all right? You know, this is really for, like, professional, like, crypto trade investor people types, okay? So, you know, there are a lot of noobs, especially from t two certain countries that, you know, you know, I don't want to get, like, a flag on my YouTube channel, and I always see it all the time, and we all know it, and it's very annoying. It's like, oh, this is a stable project. It, it pays 20% APR. What could possibly go wrong? Hey, I lost all my money. The price is crashing 90%. You, you fucking scam you. You fucking rug pull you. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, like, and then these people can still vote, apparently, right? Whether it's in this country or in, a, or any other country. Yeah, so again, you can just see right there, it's like a 23 grand dump, right? A lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure. Well, with that being said, the liquidity on this looks pretty solid. Yeah, 1.6 million to one, yeah, this is a lot of liquidity though. So yeah, they, so the project is still very stable. Right? It's got a lot of tokens minted. It's also got an okay amount of pi shares or pay shares or whatever the hell it is. So, <clears throat> I don't know. I personally would still not invest in this, right? In fact, I'm not investing in a lot of these projects, but if I did, I'll tell you, right? And I'll tell you what I did, right? But with that being said, yeah, because again, there's so many of these projects out there, I'm just not going to be able to keep up. I just don't have the time anymore, all right? I mean, I barely have the time to do these videos. So with that being said, 
What was I saying again? Oh, yeah. So anyway, this is like really far above peg, all right? Like you're going to be constantly be hearing this because you want to know when, how risky a tomb fork is at that moment? Just look at the peg, all right? Far above peg. Oh, yeah. It's 5.2 way above. Yeah, it's supposed to be tanking. Oh, it's like 50 to, or it's 50% or 90% below peg. That means there's something fundamentally wrong with the project. And that could actually still be a really good opportunity, but from the reverse end, right? Because now everyone thinks the project's going to die, or maybe they change the tokens out, and that's the risk. But if you buy at the bottom, like I did with Snow Tomb and Frozen Tomb, right? Because I bought Snow Tomb when it was at like zero, it was zero, it was like half peg, and then they introduced the new changes. It was just when I go into Discord to check it out. It was like, yeah, this actually looks solid. No morale loss. Devs are working. These ideas are solid because I approve it. Yep. Yeah. Amy Lee just bought in like, I guess I could tell you guys, I bought in about $2,000 to $2,200 on Snowtube. What do you think I did with that? Yeah, I made a shit ton of money off of that. I'm still technically, I actually am in there. And of course, I pulled a ton of profits out too, you know, put it in other projects. So I don't even care what the price of Snowtube and Frozen Tomb is because I'm literally using pure profits in that project. So I literally have... Snow Tomb, Frozen Tomb token types, right? Because I do the flot and slots, the shares, for free, right? While everyone else is losing their mind, right? I'm like, yeah, well, you know, it kind of sucks, but all right, I just make less money. I, I make a lot less money because, you know, Snow and Frozen are under a lot of pressure. But it's coming up on the 30-day to 45-day mark for a Tomb Fork, so I know it's eventually going to recover, so... It's all good. It's all good. So I just got to be big chilling. Again, that's the power of not only buying low and keeping your shit mental faculties, uh, you know, under control, right? Which is why you should forgive your mom and dad so God can forgive you and then do the silent prayer every morning, every night like Jesse Lee Pearson recommends, right? You can have some emotional control and then you'll know what to do at that moment, you know. But with that being said, also take profits. Right, because I know what I'm doing. I live in the moment, right? Present with God at all times as best I can. Like, oh, time to take profit. <clears throat> oh, hey, glad I did. This thing just tanked. <laughs> right, and then I now have options. I can wait it out or I can buy the dip. All right. All right, this is a marathon, believe it or not. Yeah, you'll be sprinting a lot, right? We bobbing and weaving these, these market volatility cycles. Let me set this to four hours. Or what did I set over here? One hour. Right? But the point is, if you really like the project, and so far, most of these tomb forks, they're actually run by legit devs. Right? I have, I have yet to cover a project that has so far decided to rug pull after like 10, 20, 30 days. Like, I, at least I would have heard about it. And of course, you know, let me know and then I'll do a video on it. Uh, but with that being said, you know, I mean, with the exception of Scarface, right because that's only four or five days old that could still rug pull right so maybe you want to hold off on that i mentioned that in the scarface video you know but here in rip aid i mean these guys have been around for a while and i mean all right it's got like 9.6 million tvl so could it be a rug pull but i think the probability of it is very low and i haven't bothered to check to see if they renounced contracts i guess we could just go real quick uh it will probably be over here uh, do they have anything here that says, well, I don't see anything that mentions the word renounce, or if they did, hmm, because I think they might have, Genesis, Tellers, Bank, uh, Token Allocation, go oh man, yeah, well, you know, I don't really want to bother with it, but I also kind of just don't really care, right, because there are many ways to rug pull a project anyway, wait, where am I? Where's the Where's the website? Oh, I pulled the tab back. Yeah, but whatever. I don't. I'm not always like I said in the last video. I'm not in a rush for people for the devs to renounce, right? Because again, that's people lacking faith in God, lacking faith. Period. And then something goes wrong, but because the devs renounced, now they can't fix the contract. All right. So you know, you just gotta show a little bit of faith. If you're really that paranoid, then don't invest in the project. It's really that simple, you know? But that's just how it goes. 
So anyway, they have tellers, which is the farm, and then they have the bank, which should be the boardroom, all right, which kind of makes sense. So they also just did a, so I guess I could close this tweet out because now I see it here. So you can actually go on Beefy Finance to get the auto compounder. They chose Beefy over Yield Wolf. So and we don't care about the Genesis close because those don't work. Okay, so let's see. What do we got here for the farms? Let me see. Before I move on, are you doing, oh yeah, and they have the, you know, the automatic add the token thing and they are animated their tokens. Very nice touch. I like again. I like the look of this website. Looks really good. Um, you know, in fact, before we go to the APR, uh, <clears throat> again, a word of caution: the base token PFTM is very far above peg. It's supposed to be one to one to Phantom. This thing is like five times more expensive. Now I don't know why this particular project has that, and it always gives me pause. But with that being said, now that I'm looking at this chart. Okay, so this is the hold chart essentially. Yeah, so this has been around for like a couple weeks. So yeah, this is probably not gonna be a rug pull. All right, so the low all time low appears to be around 395, 390. <clears throat> so it does okay. And again, this is very high because the base token's very high. <clears throat> God, I'm rods in my throat. So I personally am not going to invest in this if it were me, because again, I just don't like that this is far above pay. But with that being said, there's obviously some kind of reason. I have not, I actually have not been able to figure it out. So this is the farm. So we go to the boardroom. Let's see if we can figure something out here. So here's another thing. I, I mentioned this before in the last video, but I'll mention it again. This is why I don't like doing boardrooms anymore. You have to wait for 36 hours. I can't highlight this because this is in blue. I can barely see it myself. I think you guys could too. You have to wait six epochs. That's 36 hours. So, you know, if you were wanting in a panic cell, you're not going to be able to because you're going to be stuck in this shit for 36 hours. Can you imagine walking around, you know, with no Vaseline for 36 hours, right? Meanwhile, you know, <clears throat> you got something irritating you. You're not going to be comfortable. But that is an option. And it pays 26 89% APR. All right. Yeah. So this is which one is which? Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about this. Everything's just too similar. I can't figure out what is what. So pay P A E. That is the liquidity pool. So this is the liquidity. See, look, it's very close to the boardroom. The APR is very close. In fact, they're pretty much the same. So why would I go in the boardroom when I can just do this? And <clears throat> no, I'm confused with Piggy Finance. Never mind. So, yeah, and I said this again in the last video. This is why I now, do, instead of boardrooms, I now do liquidity pools. It's basically a boardroom, except you can pull your money out whenever you want. And the price you pay for that is you get slightly less rewards. That's very valuable to me, all right? Because let's say, let's say I see, let's say I was actually in this project, right? High risk high reward and I knew that this thing was going to crash because at the time I was like oh 10 12 FTM so it's 10 to 12 X above peg this thing has to crash so I'm like looking at this and go you know what I'm going to pull my money out right because I know that there's got to be a crash so I would be able to do that and then you know the drop happens over the next couple of days right well I mean if you're stuck in the boardroom you just got fucked for 36 hours and then you just take a massive loss yeah you know not very appealing you know what I'd rather just be able to dump whenever I want <laughs> okay so that's why I would be in this however let's see however you can also buy this as well the base token FTM liquidity pool so it looks like they actually did the right thing and made sure the daily APRs on both are about the same so it doesn't matter what pool you decide to go into, it always pushes the price up of the base token, pretty much. And that's exactly what matters. And maybe that is why this project does pretty well, because their reward the reward pool is actually quite appropriate. So let's see. What do you actually generate? You should be generating the pay shares. Yeah, you generate pay shares. So I don't know. So I guess in this case, which would I buy? I don't actually know. Because again, this 
Because first of all, I would not, I am not invested in this, and I would not invest in it, even though it looks pretty good. I mean, there are plenty of other tomb forks where I can get this kind of APR. All right. Now the problem is, you know, it does look more stable. That is true, but I don't know. I just don't like this, man. The peg is still too high. It just had a pretty nice, nasty correction, right? Both the shares and the base token, you know, went to shit. Now I'm going to move this over a little bit, right? Same exact time frame. I don't know. It could still drop a lot more. I don't know. But I guess it's up to you. Um, you know, this, the the big thing about Ripe is they want to go cross chain. So eventually, they're they're basically competing against Harry Yi, Two Ohm, and Piggy Finance now for cross chain whatever thingy. <clears throat> and that's again, that's the next big thing in these tomb forts going cross chain. You know, the first project that can do that is gonna go is you know gonna make a lot of money. It's gonna go very very big, right? Just like the first titano fork that can come out with titano play barring the hack of course you know they're gonna make a shit ton of money right they'll, they'll they'll basically be titano right at that point all right but of course you know titano had that hack for titano play so now they gotta redo the contract you know blah blah, blah. they said they actually found the guy essentially because the guy because the hacker was actually retarded he had he full he didn't even hide his tracks at all he what kind of idiot does that? Every single successful hacker that I know of have always covered their tracks. I assume this one was no different. But <laughs> apparently he decided to just move all his shit into Binance and Coinbase, some of the heaviest, the most regulated country uh, companies in the world with full KYC and address. And apparently it might actually have involved a developer that they hired who decided to betray them. I don't know, but I guess we'll see when they finally catch the son of a bitch, right? So, so Titano, Titano got very lucky, all right? They're they're very lucky. They, even if they don't recover the money, at least they can put the piece of shit in jail, right? Because I did the video on Titano plays hack, and I was like, they're not gonna find the guy, all right? But I was operating again on the assumption that the hacker was smart enough to launder the money. You know, I didn't know about Tornado Cash at the time. But I knew about crypto mixers. Tornado Cash seems to be the most popular one. It didn't even bother with any of that. So, yeah, he deserves to just go to jail forever for being stupid, right? Like, you're smart enough to hack Titano Play, but you, you can't be bothered to hide your tracks. Like, what, what is wrong with you? And then you, you take all the stolen, laundered money into fucking Coinbase or Binance. Like, what do you think is going to happen? <laughs> what do you think is going to happen? I mean, of course your ass is going to get caught, right? I forgot the name of the project, but some hacker stole like three hundred million dollars from like a really big project, and then people found them within like a few days, right? Because again, if you steal enough money, it doesn't matter; they will fucking find you, all right. And then if you don't return that money, they'll probably kill you, definitely put you in jail forever, and then take the money anyway. And if for some reason you won't give up the money, then they'll just jail you and kill you anyway, and then nobody gets the money. So the hacker's got to cough, it. and he did. He cough the hacker was like, oh, I was just kidding. I was just showing you security problems. Here you go. Here, here's the money back. That's not the truth. He got caught and he's like, oh, shit. You know, I'm fucked. Just give him the fucking money back and then, you know, make a plea deal. And it's like, yeah. So, and that was that. So, and there's construction, uh, I think, below me or something. Or above me. I can't tell. It's like Tarkov. I can't tell if it's above or below me. Like, the sound is so whatever. So anyway, I guess there's not much more to talk about this. Uh, you know, it looks like a pretty stable project. All right, just be aware that again we're above. Well, Rip Day is way above Peg. Uh, well, with that being said, it says a market cap of 1.9 mil. You know, with that being said, you know it looks pretty solid. So I know some people really like this, but again, I'm just gonna wait. All right. Now, would I, now if I were now if I were willing to wait, when would I get in? I would definitely start considering buying this if I saw the peg on this maybe hit two two point oh phantom. Excuse me, right? And I would put a little bit in. If I were gonna put in like much more than just like two hundred and one hundred and three hundred bucks, I'll actually do more research, right? Because my time is very valuable, so I don't want to keep doing research on every single little project. I just don't. That's just not practical. And I want to enjoy life, too, and try to relax, right? Because I know Satan's trying to get me to do shit. And I actually now, now that I'm getting closer to God, and God's changing my heart from 
stone to love, I actually can now begin to see why Satan's having me do all this stupid shit. Right? Just do this. Go do that. Go do this. Go do it. Yeah, it doesn't do anything, right? You know, whether it's programming from the game, which I've more or less stopped doing, or considering music or whatever, right? It's like, okay, it's like, you know, what's he, he's trying to get me to spread myself out so that I don't do what God wanted me to do. And so far, it's working great, all right? Or since I refocused myself, made a shit ton of money and continue to do so, all right? And it's a lot less stress, too. So anyway... I'll go into this core, I'll check everything out, and then of course I'll maybe do an update video to something like, to this video, right? But right now, I'm just not going to do anything because way above peg, I'm not interested. I mean, I'm a little interested because this, it's a very interesting project. Like, these numbers should not be working, but, the, but it does, and a lot of people seem to have faith in it. So, I'm a little older, I don't want to gamble. Maybe some of you want guys want to gamble. I just put the info out there. And again... Normally, I would do the pay share phantom liquidity pool, right? Because I always want share liquidity. The actual base token actually pays a little more at the time of this video. So it doesn't really matter which of these two you go into. So, yeah, take your pick. I think I'm done for the day. Uh, Zilla Finance, I mean, David already announced uh, the good stuff, which I thought, because everyone was in agreement with my suggestion, and someone else also came with the same suggestion. So, you know, Zilla Finance will be back up. I'm going to go for my walk. I actually got to listen to Greg Manuel's thing. And then, I don't know, I guess I'll see you. I might do a video tomorrow, but I got to make sure I take care of the bank stuff. Assuming I can do it tomorrow. So I'll leave it at that. It's just, it's just, it's just so annoying, but whatever. It, it's going to be resolved. So I need to make sure I take care of that. Otherwise, you know, you know I'm going to wake up one day and the bank's going to be like, yo, you owe us like two grand and we fucked up your credit report. So go fuck yourself and give us your, our money. It's like, what the hell? I'm not responsible for this. Right. Oh, but I got to pay for it anyway. So you know, I want to make sure that doesn't happen, okay? I'll see you, I don't know, soon. Tomorrow, Friday, whatever. But, you know, I've got, let's see. The next one I want to do, so I definitely want to do a Zilla Finance update video, but I got to wait for the changes to go through and then I'll definitely do that. The goldmine finance comes out in two days. That's a Genesis pull. So that's going to be high risk because that could be a rug pull, but it's very early and people want to do Genesis pull. So I'm like, eh, all right, I'll just make sure to put in the YouTube title high rug pull risk or something because it's a new project. So you just never know. Let's see. Ape U came out with Ape Universe came out with a new video uh, documentation. Sadly, it doesn't seem like they took all, they decided to take my suggestions after all, so I'm a little like, eh. But, you know, whatever, like, they seem to be making some changes, so fine, whatever. So I'll do a video on Ape Universe. Uh, okay, then I still have to do the Toon Fork strategy video. Yeah, I don't know when I'll do that, but I have been talking more about it, but, you know, that's lower on the queue. Right now, I just want to pump out all these, whatever, grow the channel, and then I'll do the strategy video. Because that is actually kind of important, obviously. But I'm already repeating the strategy I'm telling you now anyway. And I'm constantly refining and improving it until I find some, figure out something better or find something better. Well, specifically God finds something better and I just do what he says. Right? So that's why we're going to wait. But, you know, it's coming. You know, it's coming. I'll see you next time. Whenever that is. Definitely later this week. I'll at least put out one video. But it'll be, it'll be more than that. So uh yeah check out ripay finance i'll make sure your all the links are there for in the youtube description for your convenience and um yeah just be uh just be careful because again can't say this enough it's really still far above peg and i don't know why so i'm like eh.